Hey church, my name is Hannah Bracegirl and I'm part of the Manchester Central Campus. It's great to be with you today. Um, I'm hopefully going to encourage you with my testimony this morning and um, with God's word. So, um, yeah, 14 years ago, um, I was pregnant with my third child and I um, got diagnosed with uh, something called chronic myeloid leukemia, which apparently if you're going to get cancer, that's the best one to get because they kind of know how it works and how to treat it. Uh, so I was on treatment um, for that for probably um, 13 to 14 years, um, standing for a miracle, praying, no, believing and knowing that God was going to heal me. Um, and praise God, I am healed from that now. I'm no longer in treatment from that. Um, but unfortunately, uh, last year I got diagnosed with something called multiple sclerosis, which you probably know as MS. So once again, I find myself believing and standing for um, another miracle healing. Uh, so at the moment, God is really speaking to me about just standing on his word. And I just want to share um, a scripture which I find really encouraging. Uh, and it's from Ephesians 6, uh, 10 to 17. It says, I'll read it to you. It says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armour of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's scheme. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authority, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armour of God so that when the day of evil comes you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace in addition to all this take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god and it's just an incredible uh, piece of scripture that I'm standing on um, at the moment. And also, I just want to share with you um, three characters out of the Bible who, I mean, there's loads more than three characters, but I just want to share three characters in the Bible who had to stand firm and stood firm uh, for their healing. And the first one is the Roman officer in Matthew 8, 5 to 13. Now, this officer um, in this account wanted um, Jesus to heal his servant but he felt unworthy for Jesus to come to his house. So he just said, say the word um, and I believe you'll be healed. And it says, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof. Just say the word and my servant will be healed. What I love about this is that he stood firm in his belief, knowing that when Jesus speaks, um, that it will, will be done. And the second character is out of the Bible is um, the woman with the issue of blood in Mark 5, 25-34. And she just believed in that the slightest touch from Jesus uh, that she would be healed. And it says, a large crowd followed and pressed around them, him. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Yet instead of get, getting better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Immediately, immediately her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she, she was freed from suffering. That is just an amazing piece of um, scripture, a, a great story of how she believed just the slightest touch from Jesus uh, would heal her. And in the third... Um, story this is the story of the gentile woman um in matthew 15 21 to 28 and this gentile woman approached jesus with boldness uh, to heal her daughter who was possessed by um, a demon and in those days for um, a gentile um, person to approach um, a jewish person was prohibited and especially for women as well um, so this woman Jesus ignored her at first and the disciples just was telling her to go away but she was bold and she was pers persistent and she was just uh, courageous and bold enough to um, keep asking Jesus for a healing and Jesus ended up healing her daughter um, because of um, her great faith and it says dear woman Jesus said to her your faith is great your request is granted and her daughter was instantly healed 
So I just want to encourage you with these stones this morning, just to stand firm um, in whatever you're believing for, if it's a healing or maybe it's a new house or if it's a new partner, um, a wife or husband, if it's a, a child, Father God just wants you this morning just to stand firm on his word knowing that when Jesus speaks, that it will come to pass and that it doesn't have to be a massive, massive touch from heaven, but it just has to be a slightest touch and he will do um, what you're asking him. And last of all, just to have faith, to stand on his promise that he will fulfill what he has promised to you. So this morning, I just want to encourage you. I'm going to pray for you and just um, stand firm in his word this morning. So, Father God, we just thank you this morning for your word. We thank you, Father God, that we can stand firm on who you are this morning. Father God, no matter what situation we're in, whether it's asking for a healing or if it's for a new husband or wife, a new house, Father God, whether it's, it's, um, it's for someone to have a child this morning, Father God, we just pray, Lord God, for your healing touch in our bodies. And we just pray, Father God, that we stand on your word this morning, knowing that... Um, Nothing uh, can depart from from us, from you, Father God. We just pray this morning for your healing touch in the name of Jesus. Amen. It was great to share with you this morning and hopefully we'll see you soon.